Yeah, man, I was hoping to get up really early this morning, get out and about, and then this, this happened. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna wait a while, I think. <laughs> so it is finally stopped raining. I've come out for a walk, come out to get some lunch. Man, it's good to be back in Bangkok. I've missed this place. So I'm just on my way now to that Soy Zero street food place to get some lunch. I haven't had Pad Krapao yet. I've had just about all my favorite things since I've gotten back that I like to eat, but I haven't had a Pad Krapao and I haven't been there. I love that place. I love the people there. So I'm dying to go there too. So take this video with a grain of salt. Obviously the lockdown was terrible for everyone involved and everyone that suffered from it, you know, the, the businesses and everyone that just, everyone that struggled through that time. But there are certain things that I do miss about the lockdown. So there's two main things, actually three main things. There's four main things that I miss about the lockdown. I haven't set up today, I think. I guess it was because it was like raining so hard earlier. Ah, oh, man, I gotta find somewhere else now. That's okay, I have a backup. So that's Soy Zero behind me there, and there's another little spot just over here somewhere. It's a little like street food style place that I've been wanting to go to, so I'll go in there. So this is completely unrelated to that place being closed. But the first thing I miss is just being able to walk into any restaurant I want and there's no one there. So I went out for dinner last night at a restaurant that I really like and there's no tables there. And I used to be able to just walk into any restaurant, sit at whatever table I like, like choose the table, especially if I'm making these videos, I need to sit somewhere that has like good light or a good angle. And lately Bangkok's getting so busy or basically everywhere is getting so busy that you can't just sit down anywhere you want. It's great for the businesses, but selfishly for me, it sucks a little bit. <laughs> I still got myself a pack of power, which is good. My guys were closed. One of the other shop people there, they were telling me they're only closed because of the rain. They're still open. So I'll come back in the next few days and I'll eat there because I miss them and I want to see them. But this looks awesome. Put a little bit of this chili sauce. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> Oh, I missed that. Oh man, thank you. Awesome lunch. This place is really good. That lunch was 40 bar, which is unreal. I will be back here for sure. Thailand. Yeah, long time, long time. Yeah, I how many years, my friend? Oh, now just over one year. Oh, you come from America? Australia. Oh, Australia. Yeah, I have yeah. my daughter. Oh, really? Uh, her stay in uh, Sydney. Oh, yeah, I'm from Sydney. So the second one is these guys, the taxis, the tuk-tuks, the street hustlers and everyone. They've all come back, you know, it used to be so easy. I could just jump in any taxi and they just put the meter on straight away. The tuk-tuks, be able to take them around the city. Tuk-tuks for Thai people, 
are cheaper than taxis to get around. And for the longest time, we could actually use tuk-tuks as well at a cheaper price than you will pay in a taxi, which was awesome. But now that's like completely out the window. I just asked one of these guys to go like two blocks and he wanted 150 baht, which is just <laughs> ridiculous. But the taxis are all starting to do that now too. You know, they, you get in and they'll say, oh, 200 baht or whatever, just come up with some bullshit price straight away instead of turning on the meter. And it was so nice to just like not even have to worry about that. Now that that's all starting again, you know, there's more tourism here, so it's all, it's all the, the, the roll on effect from that. How much is it to go around? Uh, up to you. Up to me? One hour, two Free. Hour. Up to you. <laughs> <laughs> They're all really friendly, but just, you're not paying that, you know? <laughs> So the third one is kind of a funny one and to be honest this is mostly on me and I've actually got mixed feelings about this so that's I miss the bars closing at midnight kind of so when I used to be out and the bars would close at midnight I hated it at that time and now that I'm out and they're open past midnight I'm so happy to be out and at midnight there's no way I'm going home you know I've been out recently had some nights where I was getting home at like 7 a.m. which is you know it's fun to do that again but the next morning is a completely different story so when the bars would close at midnight, you'd have to go home like at a reasonable hour. There was like nothing else open. You know, there was a few secret bars that we'd go to, but they usually weren't that great. So we wouldn't end up staying that long. And a lot of them were quite overpriced as well because they were doing that. But more often than not, you'd be home at a reasonable time. And now the places are open later. I'm like, yeah, getting home at 7 a.m. And God, you pay for it the next day. Especially like for me, you know, I need to be up every day and edit these videos and make the next video. So I can't just sleep in all day. It's different. If you're on a holiday and you want to be nocturnal, that's cool. But for me, trying to function during the day, the balance is quite difficult. And then number four is the traffic. Wait, let me show you this. Can you see that it's like... As far as you can see. So the traffic has gotten absolutely mental here lately. It's like it's just been constantly getting busier and busier. It's funny, a year ago I remember there was a time I was on Sukhumwit Road, like standing in the middle of Sukhumwit Road and I was looking like in both directions and there was no cars as far as I could see in each direction. And now it's the, <laughs> it's the complete opposite. As far as you look in every direction, all the cars are stopped. So right now it's not even bad. It's only three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm out and this is what it's like. It's all stopped and you would have seen the time lapses I just shot. It gets even worse around like five or six o'clock. It's just absolute chaos here. So this sucks for obviously for getting around but also like adding on to the taxis so it used to be so much easier to get around you could jump in a taxi they'd turn on the meter <laughs> and they would just take you to where you wanted to go quicker now sometimes it takes forever in taxis it's usually much quicker to take like a train or whatever so i was coming back from ekamai the other day and when i looked up the timings it was much quicker considerably faster for me to catch the bts and then walk home than it was for me to get a taxi all the way home and actually somewhere when sam was here we were walking somewhere and it's when I looked on Google Maps, it said 26 minutes, 26 minutes in a taxi or 20 minutes to walk. So it meant it was going to be quicker for us to walk than it was to take a taxi, which is just, it's insane. But we definitely had a great during the lockdown. There was, there was like no traffic. You could shoot around everywhere. It was awesome. And now it's just, oh, and I imagine it's just going to keep getting worse too. This is that same bus that was sitting next to me for that whole last shot that I did that went for like a minute and a half. Bye. So as I said at the beginning, take all this with a grain of salt. Obviously, like the lockdown was a terrible time for everyone. Uh, you know, it was great to have no traffic or be able to get a taxi or whatever. But, you know, unfortunately, the reality was everyone suffered through this. And, you know, I hated not being able to travel as well. So I'm glad things are the way they are now. There are those small things that I do miss a little bit. 
And it's funny, you know, I remember back then, Dan and I were joking with each other saying, do you think one day we're going to miss this, you know, because there were, there were these positive things about it. And, you know, here we are six months later, a year later, and we do miss these things. All right, well, that's it for me today. I'm out of here. Thankfully, I can walk from here. I don't have to sit in that traffic. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow.